We've been listening closely to the Division community, and because of this, we've decided to work on a free update that focuses on improving the quality of the endgame as well as some core gameplay mechanics so we can make your experience that much more enjoyable. After listening to your feedback, We've worked on hundreds of quality of life changes and fixes, as well as giving particular attention to the top three most wanted changes that will fundamentally alter the way you play The Division. Let's take a look at how we address that in Update 1.4. At its core, The Division is both a shooter and an RPG. It's a delicate balance between these two, and it's not always easy to find the exact right balance. I think we did a decent job of striking this balance in the 1 to 30 experience, but we noticed that the end game's combination of these two elements just wasn't right. Something that we knew our community was also strongly feeling. We wanted to restore the shooter aspect of the game in the end game, making it more satisfying and enjoyable to play, even at the highest difficulties. We've reduced the time to kill and the lethality of the NPCs to provide the feeling of being powerful, which is something we know players expect in the end game. One of the things we really wanted to do was we wanted to find a way to kind of increase the difficulty or the challenge of our NPCs without just resorting on stat scaling. We've got increased health, increased damage. So what we wanted to do instead was look at their behaviors. What kind of things could they do to present a bigger challenge to the player in terms of their flanking, their relationship to cover, their movement speed, which will help result in a more fun and fast-paced shooter. There was a huge difference before and after the level 30. We've introduced four world tiers. You can now select your world tier and mission difficulty for a more customized endgame progression. A higher world tier will increase the level of enemies, but also the quality of the reward, which will help you access the next tier, while a higher mission difficulty will change the type of enemies you fight and grant you more rewards. This is a great feature for everyone. You can choose to play solo or in a group and progress through the endgame at your own pace. For me as a player in 1.3, I can't really play everything solo. I can't get the best gear, but that's something we changed for 1.4. In 1.4, max level players will feel powerful once again, and they will really feel the impact of their new gear and gear sets and weapons. So we've rebalanced all the skills, weapons, gear and gear sets so players can find more variety when building their character. As an example, we changed the way Firecrest and Nomad work to make it more appealing and relevant to players. And with the blind set, we even took it a step further and repurposed it entirely. It was largely underused by players and it will be replaced by a brand new set called Banshee. It will especially appeal to Dark Zone agents by giving bonuses based on the rogue mechanic. We've also rebalanced the different weapon types to encourage more variety in weapon use and therefore more gameplay styles. When it comes to loot and rewards, you'll be able to get everything from anywhere, so you can find useful items for your build no matter how you prefer to play. All these changes will also create a better balance between level 30 players, so everybody gets a fair chance in the dark zone. Before 1.4, if you were at max level, your XP would basically go to waste. And in 1.4, we're adding a feature that's called field proficiency, and basically all the XP that you earn will go into this level progression bar that you're used to, and as soon as you level up, you will get a field proficiency cache, which gives you cool stuff based on your gear score. We can't wait for all of you to experience these changes and to see what awesome builds you come up with. These are just a few of the many improvements that you can expect and we will continue to improve on the core experience of the game with Survival and Last Stand.